guys i hope you're all okay today i am filming a video all about sleep if you follow me on social media then you may have seen my posts talking about everly sleep now we're finally at a point where i feel like i can talk about it because she is sleeping um but we have had some rough times we've had some really tricky nights with her and um, there's been times where we've been up for three hours trying to settle her um up for six hours trying to settle her um but finally we're out the other side up until about seven months old she was a good sleeper she slept through and then we changed her sleeping environment and put her into her own room and it all just went a little bit pear shaped uh it just didn't sit well with her and ever since then really it's just been a little bit rocky however for the last few weeks we have been working with a sleep consultant um just somebody on the other end of the phone to kind of talk about where we're going wrong or trying to figure out a solution now whilst i don't think it would be very fair on me to sit here and tell you all of her secrets plus it is in our terms and conditions so we're not allowed to i have kind of gone back to basics with some general tips on how to help your baby sleep and how to get them maybe not sleeping through but just a little bit more comfortable at night time and i thought i'd put together a video for you because there's been so many messages in my dms like please tell me how you've got everly to sleep so i just thought you know what let's just sit down and chat about sleep for a bit so first up i must mention that this video has been sponsored by two at sainsbury's you guys know i am a huge fan of two i buy a lot of my clothes there and the kids clothes there and i have done for ages fun fact i used to work at sainsbury's and i was working on the two section then so it's kind of been a brand that i've kind of i'm loyal to i've stuck by for some time now and i love their bits i've always boasted that their sleepwear has been a favorite of mine i love it i'm always reaching for like their multi packs and just stocking up on sleepwear and i love how it washes i know that might sound a little bit lame but for new mums i'm always like oh, get your body suits there get your sleep suits there because they wash like a dream and when you're a mum that's one thing that you need <laughs> if your baby is having trouble sleeping and they're not making their way through the night i know that everly was always waking up because she is such a fidget she ends up waking herself up she somehow managed to kick out of so so many sleep suits um have her legs free and that is just how she was comfortable i don't know she just felt restricted in them but she was managing to kick her way out which is why i am such a fan of the two sleep suits they are wriggle proof which is incredible it just means that everly is so much more comfortable at night which makes so much difference i know that it just is such a basic thing isn't it like what is your baby wearing to bed but as an adult going to bed cold or uncomfortable you're not going to get the best night's sleep yourself so imagine being a baby that just can't like communicate how they're feeling so that would be one of my first tips is just to take a look at what they're wearing you want them to be in something that's warm breathable comfortable for them and two sleepwear is perfect for that their baby grows are 100% cotton, making them perfectly safe for baby skin, which is great. They're free from any harmful dyes. I mentioned before, and you've probably seen in like baby hauls and things, that I am a huge fan of the two multi-packs for their sleep suits. You can get them in more like plain, neutral designs, and you can also get them in really fun, bright designs. I picked up some rainbow print ones not long ago um, when I was having like an emergency last minute sleepover at my parents' house. But what's really fun about two is that you'll probably see in store and online that they have exclusive partnerships with like family favorite characters they've got guess how much i love you at the moment they've got the gruffalo the hungry caterpillar elma uh just loads and loads of fun characters which is just like the perfect opportunity to dress up your little one and play you know fancy dress because <laughs> i don't know about you but i'm a sucker for dressing babies up i just look so cute Something else I really appreciate about the two sleep suits is that they don't just sell the ones with the poppers down the front. I mean, this multi-pack here has one with just the poppers around the nappy and the leg area. And also, I have been known to pick up some with the zips in store, which are amazing. <laughs> when I was reassessing Everly's sleep and going back to basics and thinking, why is she not sleeping now? Um, I did kind of go on a bit of a shopping spree 
um, and picked up lots of new pyjamas, sleep suits and sleeping bags. Now sleeping bags are something that Everly hasn't always loved. They've been a little bit hit and miss. However, I do love the two ones. I picked up this one um, and she loves it. It's so, so nice and warm. This is a 2.5 tog. Obviously it's winter time at the moment. It's absolutely freezing. Um, and so if you're finding that babies bedroom temperature is dropping at night and you want to keep them warm and you're not using a sleeping bag I really do recommend them they're really really nice they're accessible they've got a zip down the side and then they just pop up onto baby this is like I said from two it looks gorgeous it's super duper soft and incredibly warm and I wish that they did them in adult sizes <laughs> Something to remember where sleeping bags are concerned. Whilst they are great, you will need to purchase another one as the weather gets warmer or colder um, because they need different like thicknesses and different togs. So this is a 2.5 and you'll probably need to, I think summer they recommend one or 1.5, but yeah, I'm no expert. A real basic that I found myself going back to with Everly recently is white noise now i don't know why but for some reason white noise was just something we kind of phased out uh i don't know why we've got every single white noise toy or aid or whatever i think there is we've got bears toys sheep my phone we have got absolutely everything and everly loves it i do think that it's more so like a younger baby thing um and it you do have to really be consistent with it um but if you've got like a loud house if you've got a four-year-old like i have that likes to creep around at night occasionally um or radiators that come on during the night and make a racket um white noise could well be for you and um, there's so many different variations of it but everly particularly likes like a, a humming or a sound um but yeah white noise really such a basic that's the one thing that everybody recommends to a new baby well a new mum or a new dad uh, to a new baby but yeah if your baby isn't sleeping then maybe find some white noise for them and see if that suits them comfort items are a real like hit with babies aren't they and little ones now Evelyn's never really had a comfort item she's had her dummy and us um whereas harrison always had like his magic blankets that he was obsessed with and wouldn't go anywhere without um which always settled him in his cot so long as he had that he was good to go and would sleep all night um so i do think that finding a comfort item for your baby is an essential thing um i have struggled my hand was everly's comfort item which as lovely as that is and as much as i would love to sit and hold her hand all night it was not feasible um so we kind of had to wean her off my hand um she only has her dummy at night time now and um, she's fine to go without it throughout the day which is good um so yeah knowing that her dummy is in the surroundings of her cot is enough for her um but so many people recommended to me to give her like a muslin to hold or like a, a little comforter blanket to hold it didn't work for us um i think for a couple of nights after i'd worn it down my top for 48 hours or something like that it worked for a little while um but it wasn't something that she really became attached to which was a shame because so many people have said it worked for them i do think when it comes to like your baby waking up in the night for a reason or not settling for a reason then your natural instinct like you'll know what it is kind of what they're missing or what they need uh, whether it's like a comfort item or a feed or a blanket i don't know um but mostly just kind of try to trust your instincts on things because mums are always right working down from actually being in bed and hopefully sleeping um the evening routine i think evening routines should be kept as calm as possible um and as consistent as possible with harrison i was so on form with my routines but with everly just not so much her bedtime varied whether we'd be out and about or sitting up doing homework with harrison then like dinner time would run over and bedtime would get later 
I think that that is where we was going wrong. I think bedtime needs to be like a really calm environment and at a really smooth pace and bedtime needs to be at the same time every night. Babies thrive on routine, I'm, I'm sure of it. Um, I'm kicking myself now for not just sticking to one in the first place, um, but yeah. I think that bedtime routines should be exactly what they say on the tin and should be a routine. It should just be like dinner, bath, bed, um, and in no way, shape or form. I mean, there's gonna be exceptions, isn't it? But just try not to mix it up too much. Let baby know that, okay, now we've had dinner, now it's bath time, now it's bedtime. I remember filming a video similar to this probably when I just had Harrison um, and since then my number one bit of advice would be to keep daytime bright and loud and as crazy as you want it well within reason um, and then evenings should be like lights dimmed quiet time reading a book having candles on um, and just keeping the two very very separate otherwise baby's like what um that was something that i followed very very strictly with harrison and he has always been the most amazing sleeper i don't know why i didn't take my own advice second time round um but i so so wish that i did bath times are like the favorite time for the kids in our house they love it they absolutely love it so when they are going wild in the bath with all of their toys and all of their bubbles and singing and shouting and splashing i'm a bit like ah in fear that they're gonna get like overstimulated and then not want to go to bed but it doesn't ever really pan out that way um but i do try to keep a lid on it a little bit um and just kind of make sure that they know that bath time yeah have fun but this is wind down time now um i try my best to get all of the lavender scents out um i was never really sold on like bed sprays and things and i don't know if i am um but candles and lavender scents really work for us i would say that everly's best sleeping week ever um like despite her being like sleeping through to like six months was when last summer when we went to visit the lavender fields oh my god she was just the most chill baby ever and she just just went to sleep like no trouble at all um and was just yeah honestly just the most content happy chilled out relaxed baby i think i've ever seen um so i cannot wait for the lavender fields to bloom again <laughs> I remember once I clocked that Everly was sleeping so well after visiting the lavender fields, I actually went and bought some um, lavender like baby massage oil, which was a dream, which then leads me on to my next point of baby massage. If a baby's at an age where they're gonna lay still and not wriggle off and wanna go off and play with their toys and chase after their four-year-old brother, um, baby massage is great it's just a really great time for both yourself and baby to bond as well sit down get them ready for bed it's it's lovely i really miss those days that Evelyn's just like no mom i'm off please do forgive me for this terrible lighting it was so bright outside and then suddenly it just went completely dark and chucked down with rain not ideal however it's just lighting um but yeah where was i routines daytime routine needs to be just as consistent as baby's nighttime routine um i once again didn't really have a daytime routine for everly like day to day there was a couple of days in the week that because we had classes and things it would kind of pan out the same um but we didn't really have like a set schedule or you know like wake up times lunch time dinner time um and i think that's probably be, been the one thing that has dramatically changed everly's sleep pattern babies need routine they need that consistency and to nail that nighttime routine the daytime routine also needs to be kind of 
set in stone um, and it's difficult because I'm not really, as much as I love routine for myself and I kind of love knowing what's coming next, um, sticking by it every day is really, really hard and it took me like two weeks of just staying indoors, <laughs> getting used to the new routine to see any kind of change in Everly, but she's so much happier now, she's eating more sleeping more which is the most important uh, because that means that I also am sleeping more. I know I just mentioned that I did spend a whole two weeks indoors, slight exaggeration, we did school runs and things um, but I do think that getting out and getting a baby some fresh air is so important. Everything around them they are absolutely soaking up and I mean I know myself if I'm out for a long day outside in fresh air um, I am knackered by the end of the day and sleep, I was going to say sleep like a baby, um, <laughs> sleep like some babies, um, so yeah I think that getting out and getting some fresh air and doing stuff is so important and often overlooked. My final tip here is just to take it day by day, um, yes I've been there, you've seen my stories on Instagram where I'm sat at the top of the stairs crying um, like a baby myself because I'm just like what do I do to get this little one to sleep um, it's tough but babies will only be babies for a small time and there is light at the tunnel end of the tunnel I promise you I think ultimately if you're in a position where your baby isn't sleeping and you're watching my video for help um, then do just go back to basics stay strong Stay consistent in your new routine for things. Don't create a routine that you're not going to stick by um, because there's just no point. And yeah, just remember that there is light at the end of the tunnel. All babies are completely different, um, but yours will absolutely get there. Do check out Two's Sleepwear range. It is great. I promise you I'm not just saying it because this video has been sponsored by them. They sponsored me because they know that I'm a huge, huge fan. My children have been wearing well Harrison since nearly five now. Um, Everybody's been wearing it since she was born. Harrison wore it whilst he was young, um, and it really is a great range. So make sure you check them out. Um, and yeah, let me know how you get on. Let me know if you make any changes to your baby's like daytime, nighttime routine um, based on this video. And just leave me a comment if you want. I know it's so hard. You feel like you're the only one. I've been there. My DMs, whilst, whilst Everly's like not going to bed, go crazy. Because everyone's like, oh my god, I'm in the same position. Um, you're not alone. I promise you, you're not alone. Um, so yeah, do feel free to message me if you want to. Um, and I hope that this video helps. Please do give it a big thumbs up if it does help you share it to a new mum maybe and subscribe if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys soon hopefully when your baby is sleeping a little bit better I'm no expert this is just all purely based on my own experience um but I hope it helps